So I'm just making lunch and I just decided to make this CPK crispy thin crust board cheese pizza and it looks really good so I'll show you when it, when it comes out. But yeah, that's basically what it looks like and I actually got this idea from my nutritionist and I'm going to try it today so hopefully it's good. So the pizza's done and it looks really, really good. Um, unlike most of the like frozen pizzas, this one comes in like, you know, single or two person serving, um, depending on how hungry you are. And not too many calories and it's just cheese and it really tastes like genuine, or it looks at least because I haven't tried it yet, like genuine pizza, which is good because I've seen some of the frozen ones that are like looks like a piece of cardboard with cheese on it which and like baked cheese too but this smells like real cheese and it looks really good so yeah I'll tell you guys if it's good this stuff is amazing I think I'm gonna have to make like a favorite healthier foods or you know stuff that my nutritionist recommends that I really like um so yeah hopefully you guys will be interested in that I'm um, sorry but I didn't vlog yesterday which was Monday because I was so freaking busy like I make these little to-do lists on my phone in the notepad section and oh my god so much to do so I went to cross country again after not doing it because of my injury and it was hard I missed a lot and I need to get back in shape but um I have so many morning doctor's appointments that it's hard to go every day so I'm just going as often as I can and then after for the past two days I've been going to the gym after cross country and like I work on different things like one day I'll work on legs the next day I'll work on arms the next day I'll work on um, abs so yeah and I, that system is working pretty well my arms are sore today and my legs were like jelly yesterday um but after my run today it was a lot better <laughs> like it didn't hurt so much and then today I just went to cross country went to the gym came home edited I'm uploading a video right now and whew, I'm tired so um I'm gonna do some schoolwork and then I have a doctor's appointment later. Hi guys, it's Wednesday. I am so sore. Um, I didn't run today because I was so sore. And um, also, I did um, like arms, you know, triceps, biceps, shoulders, stuff like that um, at the gym yesterday. And let me just tell you, I woke up this morning like barely even able to lift my arms it's mostly the shoulders that really freaking hurt but I'm actually really motivated to keep working out um, today anyway I'm just gonna do I think I think I'll just do abs and some cardio right now I'm just watching YouTube videos I'm watching videos from the NYX face awards and today basically I just went shopping I got some stuff that I needed at Target my mom got stuff that she needed at Target too and then um, I went to a boutique next to Target and bought some clothes, so, well, two shirts. Um, and I got a clothing piece at Target, too, but I don't want to say what it is because it's pretty exciting. So, um, nothing too fancy, obviously. But, yeah, I'm going to do a haul of that probably next week. Yeah, I'm downloading, or I downloaded already, Blogilates July calendar, so I'm getting that right now. So, I should probably go look and see if it came out of my printer. So, let's see. I'm not going to do today's because I already did a bunch of stuff. But, let's see tomorrow's. Tomorrow is Blurred Lines Pop High Intensity Interval Training. So, yeah. I'm going to do the Blurred Lines Pop High Intensity Interval Training tomorrow. Which is good because I wanted to kind of do an all over cardio thing. I wanted to show you guys something that I picked up today at Target. They're right there, they're called Vita Tops, and they're 100 calories and they have a lot of fiber um, and protein and they're whole grain. Hey you guys, so today basically I did like a two hour workout. So today I'm getting running shoes and going grocery shopping, but other than that it's a pretty lazy day. Tomorrow I have to do a physical and I hope they don't do anything gross <laughs> for the physical, but you you don't know. Um, and then today I just finished uploading my first impressions video on the Rimmel 25 hour foundation that I've been loving and I put in favorites videos and stuff. I got running shoes, finally. I'm going to run in them tomorrow, but um, I'm not going to tell you 
what kind they are, show them to you until I film the active wear haul that I'm doing tomorrow. Um, but hint, they're Nike. And I got these insoles with them. The insoles are currently in the shoe right now, and these are the insoles that the shoe came with. But yeah, I'm going to run in those tomorrow and then vlog about it and tell you guys how they were. But they felt like clouds, and they were just my style completely. He opened the box, and I was just like, oh, like those were my shoes. So yeah, I'm going to film that haul tomorrow. Hi guys, it's Friday, and I just wanted to kind of vlog, um, I don't know, uh, I kind of have two kind of contrasting messages to tell you guys. Um, the first message is that I did weigh in today, and I lost 4.4 pounds this week without doing anything crazy, without counting calories, without, you know, completely restricting myself. And I, I just, I can't believe it, I didn't think I exercised that much anyway like I just did simple things like jog for 20 minutes or you know take my dogs for a walk I, I don't know how I did it but just little changes and it's just amazing what you can do but I this brings me to my next point which is I just watched um, Cambria or Relive Beauty on YouTube she just posted a video and it's how she stopped binge eating, which I never thought she would have been a binge eater because I I was. Um, sometimes I still fall victim to it. And um, I don't know, I never would have thought she was a binge eater. Um, and the things she said were exactly what I was going through and exactly why I fell into binge eating. Her story and mine, although she's a lot thinner than I am and probably was always thinner than I am or was, still our stories were like exactly the same. And um, she basically just said, don't restrict yourself. Don't go on these super restrictive diets because then that's just going to make you want to binge more. And you are not the number on the scale. And I just thought that was really important to remember because even as I'm vlogging and I'm trying to lose weight, which I am, I'm not going to lie, I don't want to do it too fast, because that's definitely going to get me back into binging. And it's scary to try to lose weight after so many things have gone wrong with the times I've tried. Like, I would have so much success and I would have so much failure as I start to binge and stuff, so... It's kind of a slippery slope, but I really want to try and keep trying to live healthy and, you know, eat healthy and do all that. But I just thought I would tell you guys about that. I think you should really go um, watch her video. It is, it's a 30 minute video, but it is amazing. And if you struggle with binge eating, you have to watch all 30 minutes of that video. It is so helpful. She recommends uh, a book called Brain Over Binge. And I think you should really check it out. If I was still having problems with it, I would definitely want to read it too. I did a ton of blood a lot of use videos today um, for my workout. I'll probably go on a run later, but um, just want to tell you I did that. And um, then yesterday I didn't vlog because I'm stupid and I forgot to bring my camera. But I went thrift shopping and I found one thing. Um, I went to like three different ones, so I mean not that great, but I, the shirt I found was really cute. So yeah, but I'm not going to show you that until I fill my thrift haul. Here are the bags. I still need to haul all this stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, see if you can get a sneak peek of what I got. Not really. But yeah, I got that good bowl. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude the vlog for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next week with another vlog.